Welcome to Handmade MIDI, uh, a web controller using hand tracking to output MIDI. Um, and so we've got quick, very quickly our control panel on the left where we can uh, hide our controls or show them. We can do a selfie view where this is my left hand at the moment that's, that's up, but a non-selfie view is the mirror. Uh, well, the selfie view is the mirror and the non-selfie view is the actual of what the camera is seeing. And you can turn off the tracking. All the controls will still work. It just doesn't output the blue and white lines. And uh, you can also keep an eye on the FPS rate, the frames per second. It's usually about 29 or 30 on my system. It depends on everyone's system and also the Wi-Fi speed. It's a bit slow at the moment because I'm also doing the screen recording. So with MIDI effects, um, you have to choose your own uh, program where you want to output the MIDI to, to sound or lights. Um, in this case, I'm using Ableton just to do a demo, but you could use Max or Pure Data or anything else. Um, and what you can do, the system will detect the MIDI devices that you have, and you choose which MIDI device to send the information out to. And the very basic uh, simplest case is just sending a stream of MIDI notes and you can choose the channel that you want to send it up to. Uh, one in this case, there's 16 options. Um, say I want to have my note pitch affected by my left index. Index just means the tip of your index finger. And uh, I should say the x-axis is the horizontal axis, so 0 to 1. The y-axis is the vertical axis, 0 to 1, up there. Left hand close just means how close your fist is, and that one's slightly arbitrary because it just detects the distance between your the tip of your index and your wrist. So it sort of depends how far your hand is from the screen. Um, so you've got the same on the left and right, and then index distance is the the distance between your two pointy fingers there. And that's so maximum distance, and that would be uh, no distance. So let's say we want note velocity to be uh, dependent on our horizontal, uh, vertical axis. And say in Ableton, um, very quickly, I've just put in a plugin, a uh, very simple plugin, just to see what that sounds like. Okay, so we send our MIDI notes. We can control the BPM here. Um, word of warning, the BPM, for various technical reasons I'm not going into, is not completely accurate in terms of the timing. Um, yeah. So, say we send some notes. And that's increasing the pitch, decreasing the pitch. Increases the velocity and lower velocity, and we can say make that. Okay, so we can also do continuous control of parameters like pitch bend, after touch, and some other general CC controls. Um, and here we've got, say, pitch bend. Uh, and after touch being controlled by our left index finger, X and Y. And I've just put on a pad, uh, sort of sound so that we can hear that. So let's, let's play that. It's the pitch bend. And, oh sorry, this is after touch. So other than pitch bend and after touch, we can also control different uh, just general CC and you can assign that in your program to various things. In this case, I have assigned it to the wet mix of a resonator effect. And let's say I uh, use my left hand closed for this effect. So let's put it on and see what it sounds like. So that's, that's the sound and if I close my left hand, 
resonator coming in. Okay, it's also possible to use uh, specific gestures to trigger MIDI notes and you can then use these MIDI notes to, to do other things like scene changes, program changes. Um, but just a basic case, let's say we have, there's three different types of gestures, which is the finger touching. And uh, left hand reverse just means your palm goes that way. And same with your right hand reversed. Um, let's say we all put that all to the same channel and we're just gonna trigger like a really simple use case trigger three different notes and we can see how that works um, so that's triggering the C and left palm reversed and say the right palm reversed So that's the gestures that you can use.